Right, well, we're ready to do this demonstration of one-way bulletproof glass. Just tell you a bit more about it. We actually found it after trawling through a list of patent applications. And this mysterious inventor is an ex-soldier who's turned to business. He reckons there's a ready market for this stuff with all the trouble in the world and people being shot at. With this, they can shoot back in safety because you can shoot out through a window while your attacker's bullets just bounce off the other side. However unethical you think this is, it's a pretty amazing idea, and we've managed to get a few samples to test. Now, it's made of two layers of plastic. One side is polycarbonate, and that's 10 millimeters thick, and the other side is acrylic, and that's 8 millimeters thick. And it's this acrylic side which is bullet resistant. Now, over here, we've got a high-speed camera, and that should capture the impact. It's working at 100,000 frames per second. Now, we're going to test the acrylic bullet resistant side first. Now, over there, Tony's got a 9mm pistol. He's going to fire the bullet. He's got a full metal jacket, which means it cuts through things easily. I think Tony's just about ready to go, so I'm going to get right out of here. Well, that says bulletproof to me. Look, it's wedged right in there. But the real test is what happens when we to the side where the bullet should go straight through. Tony's ready to fire another bullet, so get out of the way. Well, that's really convincing. It's gone straight through and hit our target right there. And as for the pain, well, it's just a small hole. It's gone right through there. It's even closing up. So, how does it do it? Well, as you can imagine, the condensed bit tight of that says it's top secret. But we worked it out for ourselves. In the first test, the bullet hit the acrylic side first. Now, acrylic is a brittle plastic, but it's very strong when it's compressed. As the bullet hits the surface, the acrylic layer is bent inwards and so compressed, giving it the strength to resist the force. At the same time, the softer polycarbonate layer stretches and as it does so, it helps to absorb the energy of the impact, and the bullet is stopped. Now the situation is reversed when the bullet hits the other side. This time, it's the polycarbonate layer which is compressed, and the acrylic one which is stretched. The bullet passes easily through the soft polycarbonate and into the acrylic layer, which is now weak because it's stretched by the bullet, so it shatters. Well, that's our fear. But we'd be interested to hear from any material scientists who think they know better. Well, next week won't be half as exciting, but it will be twice as fascinating.